What is that? What is that? Uh, disgusting. Welcome aboard Cygnus, our vintage West Sail 32. We're taking time away from the bustle of life and exploring the world on a sailboat. I'm Lindsay. And I'm Danny. And this is our journey from here to out. So far, we have bought our beautiful Cygnus. We have done quite a bit of work on the hard. We've gotten her into the water and we have sailed her over to uh, where we're gonna go do a bunch of more work on it. On the way there, we stopped in Port Townsend and got to really try out her sails and see what else needs to be worked on, really. <laughs> <laughs> and fix those really, really important things. <laughs> yep, like an anchor light and such things that we got to do with family while we were in Port Townsend. That was wonderful. Now that we're here in Gig Harbor, we have a big list of projects, both small and large projects. The bigger ones are painting and plumbing, electrical, the galley, the V-berth, the um, rigging, and the diesel tanks yeah. need to be attended to as well. A little disclaimer for this video, we apologize in advance because during this time, while we are working down in Gig Harbor, we were really focused on working and not on taking videos at all. So the quality and the footage is kind of all over the place. Um, but thank you so much to the family who helped out mm -hmm. with grabbing little pieces of video clips as we worked. And that's why we have a video to show you now. <laughs> it's another morning on good old Cygnus. Getting things done. It's gonna be another day of work, work, work. My parents are here. It's so foggy this morning. There's shore over here. You can barely even see the other trees. And that's like 300 feet away, 200 feet away. Can't see much at all. But should burn off soon anyway. But here it goes for another day. This top deck is almost dry enough to walk on. Got to paint these sides now. Be a pain not to walk on that for a couple days. Up on the other underside, Ooh. yeah, got some space. I love it so much. Good Lord. And there's my wife. There she is. Hi. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> on our agenda, oh, he is today. I just replaced the barometer glass. I'm like champ. Oh, I was okay. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you can't. Boat life. You gotta wait for everyone. Yeah, no, that'll work. <laughs> this puppy in here. This is the big project. We are on our way to success. This board was super flimsy. You can see all the screws along the side. And there, but we add a little support. On the side, you can see that bottom left corner, and another one there, and a whole strip that goes behind there, another strip there, and put screws. We had to take all that, that tiling out, or the um, covered wood off. Tons of screws. There's like 10 screws, and several screws over there, and screw, 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 screw. So we can actually walk on this thing and not feel like we're going to fall into the boat. <laughs> That'd be nice. And we've got our toilet is loose now, so we can scoot it around, and it's ready to go out. Retube, repipe, and put our holding tank back here. Secret compartment. It's gonna go up, kind of in the top right. That'll be fun. It'll be good and out of the way. Hopefully, we don't have any back flow problems. We just have to replace what I hear is called a Joker valve. We'll figure it out. <laughs> Welcome to my life. It's a mess can't use rooms and you get constructions and stuff and you still have all your stuff and it's not that big. And... I need my, my wellies. Hello. Good morning. <laughs> yes. And another day at it. The days went like this. We'd wake up, we would eat and probably work while we eat some. We would work and eat again, work eat again and if there we could work while it was dark we would do that this meant that we were spending between 10 and 14 hours a day just working away on the boat which made sabbath so extra wonderful as we finally got to rest from all of that work you go shore? it's been a fun thing we've been dealing with he hates this harness <laughs> so much he just like showers at it i'm sorry dude it is all sad every time He's we put it on good boy 
He's working on training him, though. He's he's adjusting. It's weird life, though. He says it's weird. Yeah, he's not the biggest fan. Like yesterday, I had my mom working on like half the bed. She was organizing all like this. This, this thing is full, full of um, hardware, built hardware that came with it. So she was organizing this. It was all over the bed. There's other stuff that was over here on the beds so that I can get into cabinets. And Charlie was just tucked in the side and sad. And he tried to move, and they were like, "No, we can't move." And yeah. Good boy. In the stairs is gonna be interesting every time he gets out. Ready. Let's see Bye. if you can do it this morning. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Here, I'll get you one step further. There you go. So, yeah, I put the lift lift just like sometimes. Then he's like, oh, yeah, that's right. That's how I do it. Yeah, that's how we do it. <laughs> <laughs> a bit this morning, dude. Oh, you are slamming. There you go. Good boy. Charlie, boy. Poor dog. Hi, Charlie. Hi, boy. Hi, boy. Are you sure? Go outside. <gasps> These boys are heroes. Heroes. What she's saying is that she's glad that she did not have to work with all the poop, all the crap. <laughs> I'm so glad. That we had to go through. <laughs> They're heroes. So, to explain the situation, when we bought our boat, the toilet was in the V berth. Berth as in place where you're supposed to sleep. Yeah, we call it the throne room. Um, because that's what it really was. <laughs> a third of our boat had become toilet. And even on top of that, the hoses were old and the boat had sat for a long time with turds in it, which means that the odor had permeated through the hoses, the cheap hoses, and that entire third of the boat smelled like poo. Including all the stuff that had been stored in that third of the boat, mm -hmm. which was really awful. And we spent many days trying to get the poop smell out of all those things. <laughs> But we wanted to get that space back because first of all, that's a third of our boat that we can use for storage and also to be able to have people on board and to host them. So the boys had to rip everything out, all that nasty stuff and replace it. Slow and steady. It's going okay. It's, yeah, it's just a challenge. Anyway, yeah, hi. Awesome. Oh, you're adorable. Having fun? Uh, yeah. Lots of fun. I want to look and see what's down in there. I don't know. I do. I'm using this as a digger to dig mm. out of rotten, whatever. Whatever is in there? Nasty leftovers from leaking sewage tank or whatever's in there. Some potty being there. Yeah. Which will be over here. So they did all the measurements for where we need to have the new head and so how long the hoses need to be and all that jazz and then they went to the store to buy all of those things all right i think we're good okay. are we good honey we got holding tank we got food place we've got sports how's it going Lindsay? pretty good okay we're running the short now you're well, leaving we're about to Hi! <laughs> <laughs> While the boys ran to shore to get all of the things to replace the head parts with, we girls were up top and we worked on painting. Now the painting was quite the situation. Uh, when we bought the boat originally, the bottom had been done, so that was great, um, but the top still had to be done, almost all of it. Um, it was all taped and ready to go, um, and we had gray paint that came with it. When we left, Port Angeles, we said, oh, let's just leave the tape on there because it's work already done, right? <laughs> uh, regrets. <laughs> because after all that time on the hard, after the whole trip down to Gig Harbor, that tape was very adhered to the deck. And when we went to take it off, it would just fall apart in your hands and not even come off the deck, which meant you had to scrape it away. And even as you scraped and finally got a section that would come off, it would peel the paint underneath it up off with it. We had even more problems to deal with. My mom had the brilliant idea of uh, using Goo Gone, which helped quite a bit, but yeah. still took a lot of time. Yeah. Once we had a section of the boat ready to be painted, we finally got out that paint <laughs> that the boat had come with and got ready to paint. So that paint was garage floor paint, which was a little bit unorthodox, but you know, <laughs> um, it's a hard service. It's something that's used a lot. So why not? Um, so we went for it. We got everything ready and we painted. 
<laughs> and the next morning, we woke up and Danny goes outside and the first words out of his mouth are, oh no. <laughs> and I say, oh no. <laughs> Danny, what happened? Is it the paint? And the boat was crying paint off its sides from all that we had done the night before. So we cleaned and cleaned and cleaned and learned our lesson and went and bought proper deck paint to put on the boat after that. We cleaned everything and got that on there, but this new deck paint took quite a long time to dry. So you, you, it takes four hours until it's workable and then you're not supposed to walk on it for another couple days. So it's half a boat at a time and <laughs> you're juggling all the other projects and walking and here we go and yeah. Finally, as we're painting way up top and getting the rest of the paint done, the boys come back with all of the plumbing equipment and some other equipment for some other projects. And so we have the fun process of getting them on board with all that stuff while not touching any of the paint that's been done. It's like <laughs> and... kids playing lava. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot wow. like kids playing lava. <laughs> then they yanked out all the nasties and Danny took them to shore. What is that? What no, is that? Disgusting. What is that thing it is? Yeah. So we just got a new holding tank Ew. and new hoses to go in here. This is so disgusting and stinks like mad. So it's all going to be redone. It's a lot of work, but it's going to be worth it, I think, at the end. Woo woo! Nice gloves. Thanks. They're kind of gross. They're, they've been pooped on. They've been pooped on? Show me the poopy. Show you the poopy? Look at the little Ew, bit of poopy. actually, that's gross. Yeah. You got your wits about you? I think we're doing the pooper first. Do you want Whether the pipe? or not, those are worth wits. You want the poop pipe? Um, that'll be last. Let's do that last. Oh! Yeah, you need the pooper first. Let's do the pooper first because it's about yeah, to fall over. Okay, this is gross. No, no, this house isn't there. Oh. Ah. Got it? Yeah. Cute! Ah. Oh, that's exciting. Okay. You want the poop tank next? The poop tank. Hey, Danny. Yeah. Before you go, oh, never mind, you're not going yet. Okay, I got some more stuff for you to take. Oh. What kind of stuff? It's beautiful. Oh, no. <laughs> it's beautiful, he says. <laughs> Blue encrusted boards. Blue oh, encrusted boards! I thought we already had one of those. Oh, Lindsay already took it to shore, that's right. I already took it out one to shore, yeah. Well, this one's even more poo encrusted. Not really. Oh my. Uh, I'm heavy. already starting to roll back. Because oh. of the heft. Surely. I don't know how much I can help you from here, but I'll try. Danny, you want me to come out and help? It's okay, he's strong, boy. Ah, yeah, yeah. Hey, guess what? Here's a clean thing. Is something clean? For now. For now. And then you're gonna poop it. A little poo infested soon. Yay. Yeah, I do want your poo infested. Poo infested hose. Hose of poo. Okay, any more poo things? Where's yeah. the least damage? In the middle, I would say. Charlie. Here's your poo infested board. Are you serious right now? Sorry. Oh. A minute to get it out. <laughs> no, can you okay. rinse my hands? Oh, do you want? I want rinse hands. Thank you. What do you think, Mother? Super gross. Okay. <laughs> oh, actually, I think I'm gonna take this. <laughs> I thought you might want it. Wait, so what are you doing right now, Mama? Oh, I am taping. How about this, Danny? Is that gonna work? That would Getting be great. Ready for painting. This is like the super cheapy one that came with that this box. Well, it looks stuff. great. You painting beautiful things? Yeah, we are. Our beautiful boat. It's been very frustrating. I think I'm floating away. And then the boys finished up the plumbing below while we girls finished up the painting up top. We're doing what? Putting the poop tank in the poop tank spot. Yes. Look beautiful. Uh, it's rocking a little bit for some reason. Let's just leave it there. It'll be plenty supported. And it'll screw the board. Aha! Poo poo on your tank. Okay, here we go. Oh, and I just rubbed my elbow on that. Wow, I'm just doing really good on the last panel. <laughs> what are you doing there, Lindsay? <laughs> doing everything wrong for the last panel. <laughs> <laughs> for the very last panel of the boat, the very last one. So we just gotta get this one panel, little teeny tiny bit done, and then we're done with the whole boat. The whole boat. It was so awesome to get both of those projects done. And once the painting was completed or a section of painting was completed, we would get to pull up the tape. Danny, what you doing? I'm getting distracted. 
I am reaping the rewards of my <laughs> wife's work. That's what I'm doing <laughs> as I take up their tape. And it's looking so absolutely really beautiful. Oh, good. These boat projects were long. Um, oftentimes we'd get into something and be like, oh, it'll only be this. We'll only have to do a couple things with this, a couple days. Easy. We get into it and like, oh, they didn't do that. Oh, there's that. Oh my, there's that as well. And it ends up being a bigger and bigger project. So by the end of the day, your to-do list has grown, which means makes it feel like you haven't done anything whatsoever. So tearing up a little bit of paint. Tape <laughs> was wonderful. <laughs> This whole experience, and honestly, this entire trip, um, so many people have been involved with. Yes. Um, we were trying to find a place for our boat to be in for a month or a month and a half while we got it ready, and we weren't sure where it'd go, but we still were going for it anyway. Um, we went to church with Lindsay's aunt and uncle, and went to a potluck afterwards where we met um, this lady named Sarah, who ended up hearing about our situation and had waterfront property that we ended up staying at. So, such a big blessing to be able to have. Yes, thank you so much, Sarah. Thank you for letting God use you to bless us. And it was just, yes, yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We had a wonderful time at Sarah's. It was just such beautiful property that we got to see every single day. The sunsets are always gorgeous. And it was always an adventure, <laughs> up and down. This is a quick glimpse at what our daily um, ups and downs are. So we come out of the house here, beautiful house over on the lawn and a long way down and there's our boat oh right there there he is <laughs> um i'm gonna go chop some wood finally getting around to putting in some shelving and making a happy wife and a happy life so i'll show you some in a second some more of the pathway down up and down <laughs> anytime there's a little dinghy down there been so smoky here. Blue skies. You should be able to see all the way to Rainier, right over there. And of course you can't. Smoky days. But I only got like, what? Is that like an hour left of sunlight? To me it's, oh, it's 45 minutes. Oof, gotta get moving. I create, I am mad. There we are sanding. Taking things from looking like this to looking like This happened! So we just pull out the jib to put new sheets on and our jib is completely covered in these massive black flies. Having a fly infested sail is probably the last thing that I expected to have happen to us while we were working on our boat. But it happened and we dealt with it. <laughs> um, the flies were perturbed by my welcome and they quickly <laughs> left, most of them left. And then after letting the sail air out for a while, they were, they were out of there. But that was an unusual experience and it was so disgusting <laughs> to have them there like that. I have never experienced something like that before. <laughs> At this point, we had done quite a few of the projects. Um, the diesel tanks seemed to be okay, the electrical seemed to be okay, the plumbing, uh, a lot of these things. There were still quite a few things left to be done though. But what was more important is that the weather was starting to turn uh, to winter. So we needed to get south quick. So yeah. we wrapped up the last little things, got the boat in a livable situation, although not perfect. <laughs> <laughs> and we headed out of there. This is happening. Stocking up an almond milk. Just sneaking our way through all the container ships. And then there was more! Oh well. Good morning, Seattle. Oh, look at that. Looks like we've got happy instruments. And a happy wife leg. That's all I see. Oh, there she is. Hi. It's a morning. Good morning. The dog food time. All the tricks. <laughs> happy dog. Guten Morgen, everybody. Foggy day, but it's another day. We're 
scoot along and we're out of here and our boat works. Welcome to it a little bit on our boat. Trailmix, of course, my friends. Oh, and what? here's some heating uh, elements that I'm going to put in to make our heater, propane heater, work in our bottles. And here says hi. Good morning. Controls right here, tiller and throttle. And my little seating pad so my cold butt doesn't have to get too cold. Um, <laughs> solar panels, of course. And angled as much as I can towards the wonderful sun. Give us lots of power. The extra one that I added. And we can come forward on our boat. Extra diesel here. Uh, butterfly hatch that leaks. But we'll figure that out. But it is beautiful today. Blue skies. Some sunshine. And a sailboat. We had the delightful pleasure of getting to take many of the people that helped make this trip possible on a sail on our way out in Kingston, Washington. So Uncle Ralph and Catherine, Mom and Dad, Mom, Mom and Dad's Dad, Daddy, too. and Grandma Sarah, thank you guys so much for the way that you have blessed us. Thank you for letting God work through you in just amazing ways to be able to come and help us in the ways that you have. We really enjoyed sailing with you guys that last day and we miss you all very much. Yeah, what were you doing? I was looking at cormorants and turning them into fenders. <laughs> Why are you turning them into fenders? Because I'm hoping that I will be the hero, I guess, and find your fender. What happened to our fender? Well, it decided to sail in a different sea. <laughs> in a different sea. Sadly, none of the birds my dad saw materialized into our missing fender. <laughs> So alas, we had to leave it behind and left with enough fenders to still be in good working order. You look cold. I am cold. Where are we? Back where all this started. <laughs> good old Port Angeles. Good old Port Angeles. And there's our boat. There's, there's our little boat way out. out there. Yep. Way a long it's way out there. there. Was our first anchorage ever. Ever. <laughs> and we did it. It was terrifying. We almost hit the wharf. <laughs> we didn't actually. But I thought we were going to. Yeah. <laughs> I was terrified. So every like half an hour, Lindsay's like, we're going to hit it, we're going to hit it. Yeah. But we're better now. We're feeling a little <laughs> more confident. Yeah. But here we are again. Kind of crazy. Beautiful little town. But it's getting cold. Like it's supposed to snow tonight. It's that cold. <laughs> are so we going to leave? We're going to leave tomorrow morning. <laughs> what time? When it's still snowing. <laughs> <laughs> so we want to get out of here. I love our that lives. It's so cold. All right. <laughs> Our last hop before we hit the big blue was from Port Angeles where everything started over to Nia Bay. We originally planned this to be on a nice gentle little day uh, with calm seas, but uh, Lindsay's uncle suggested that we give our boat a real good shakedown cruise. So we waited for, I, was like, I think it was the next day or two, mm -hmm. um, and then did this day sail in pretty rough weather. Yeah, <laughs> it was choppy and windy and Cygnus smashed through it all successfully and it was beautiful. And we made it to Nia Bay safely, but exhausted. So here we are sailing down the coast. The farthest west we've ever been and headed farther that direction. So it's fun. It's fun now. It was not fun earlier when we had a wave break. Specifically Lindsay, not me. That's what he said. 
Oh yeah, that's what he Lindsay, said. You have right. to do it. Look at all that snow over there, y'all. Yeah, I think it's cold. <sighs> I think it's cold. Just a little bit. Some sunshine that's making everything better. In this trip, we really saw that our boat was strong and sturdy and was ready for the ocean. Uh, more importantly, it gave us an idea of what was out there, yep. um, what we would hit later. Um, Strengthened us as sailors as well. We felt yeah. more confident. We'd been in more tilts, watched our boom dip into the water, yeah. and our boat come right back out like no problem. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys so very much for keeping up with our adventures. We miss you so much, so comment, we'll reply, and like, subscribe, all those things. We miss you guys. Tune in next time as we go into the big blue ocean and we hit some fun stuff. <laughs> It'll be a time. Yep. Here to out.